to another episode of We Rebuilt. We're just gonna talk about the 2018 Audi S5. I know a lot of people is asking about that. If I start with that build, that build is still going on. I was supposed to go to Maryland um, in October to, to go look at it and go get some work done, but I didn't get to do that. So um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk about some stuff, so, so, show some pictures of uh, some the, the, of things that's are, that's going on with the Audi S5, so that you could see, and then I could also speak on some stuff while those video those pictures are being shown, because they didn't send any videos to me. They only um, send me pictures of what's going on, so y'all could get a heads up or a just a, a, a eyesight or an insight of what's going on with that 2018 Audi S5. Oh, but right now. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go to Phoenix and see if I could go grab a 2018 Audi S5 engine. So somebody gave me this pretty, this pretty good deal on this engine. So I'm gonna hop on it and I'm just gonna go get it. So anyways, I'll catch you at the, at the shop in Phoenix. Let's go. Hey, so we're at this place where we get an S5 engine, an S4 engine, so I can take off all the parts of this. So now we're going to go back to the old S5. I mean, the subframe was bent, so we had to get a new one. So those are the pictures of the subframe, the cars, the other car that I end up eventually buying it from. So as you can see now, they're putting everything on. Those are some extra parts that I ended up buying from a subscriber that had a flooded 2018 Audi S5. So you can see everything that is going on right here. The new subframe lined up, all the bolts are good. This is a video that he's just showing me some of the stuff that he needs. The frame guy was telling me all the stuff that he needs. And as you can see, this is the progress of everything up top because he made sure to focus on the frame first so once the frame was done then he was just gonna focus on everything else so I ended up buying him the top piece and the bottom piece for that um, section right there and he's just showing me everything because he's saying since the strut the strut um, tower is aluminum so he was, he was letting me know that it's taking him a lot of time to get those little dents out because what he didn't want to do he did not want to let me buy a brand new one so he could switch it out because it wouldn't have the VIN on it and he wanted the VIN to stay since it wasn't damaged a whole lot he was going to try to save it which and he did and as you could see here is when he just did some tack welding to make sure hey everything is together so he kind of like I would say basically this final weld but he still just got to finish and prep everything get it ready for the primer right and then so these are some more pictures of when he was just basically setting up everything that's when he put the fenders on the radiator assembly, radiator assembly and all of that where you could see those um to make sure all of the, everything was good now he has the bumper on the headlights in see if everything is good he's looking at all the body lines and you can see it's coming together nice and perfect right now he pulls everything back off and he's priming down everything the engine bay priming where it needs to prime putting in um seam sealer and all of that making sure that because those metal and aluminum is bonding together bonded together so it has some special type of uh seam sealer or if i'm saying it right you know but that's what he's doing He's putting everything together and that's him painting the engine bay and it looks really nice okay so we just got home now that we're home we're gonna go over some of the stuff about the engine hey this thing is really heavy I had to ask one of my buddies to come over and help me lift it out the car because I don't have a, a, a engine hoist so um I'm gonna have to get one soon. I left mine on the East Coast. So anyways, 
I'm gonna tell you how this engine looks. I mean, it looks good. Uh, a lot of this, the stuff and the sensors I need on this, and I could fix up the white um, Audi S5's engine that I have, even though I'm using the one out of the black Audi. So, yeah, let's see what we got. So what we have right here, I mean, most of the stuff, he said it would, one of the pistons is, um, is damaged in it or bent in it. So he said um, the only time the engine gets issues is when you hit high boost. But he said um, that's the only issue that it had. So I mean, you know, with the 2018, the, the one that we had have on the East Coast, you know, this whole thing got damaged, like a bunch of, um, um, this was all bent up. So I was like, you know what? I'll probably need this. And you wouldn't even believe what I got it for. So I'll probably need this, um, the bottom of the, the engine oil pan too. So I'll need that, some of these sensors right here. And then, and the injectors and all of that. Um, some of these plastic pieces, because I, I don't have, I, don't, I wouldn't have to buy any extras. These that I had on the other one. So I could, I could um, have these. On, I, I don't know. I know some of these are damaged on the other one, the other car. So, I mean, a lot of the sensors. I have an extra one of this that I already purchased earlier on. Um, what else is there? But, I mean, the engine looks good. Some more sensors back here. So, you remember the top piece of the other one? I know this section was broken off. So, because this section was broken off, and I, I tried to look for this everywhere and couldn't find it. Somebody had it on eBay for like $500 and I still didn't purchase it because I mean, what I got this for, it, it beats it any day. Um, what else do, do we have damage on the other one? Yeah, I think that's about it. He didn't give me the plastic pieces down here though. So, I mean, that's fine and I didn't get the pulley for this for the water pump but i mean that's fine i mean i'll just take the water pump off this and whatever and you know giving another pulley and all of that and all these sensors i could still you know use those um yeah but most of the stuff i already have it already and 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 stuff and i get extra stuff and then what else i don't i don't need i could always sell that back so i mean it's a pretty good deal on this and I mean I think it's a good thing that I waited I think he was also trying to sell me some injectors but I told him that I didn't really need any injectors right now because I have so much s5 parts so but and then you see we still got the m240 bumper over there from three years ago when we rebuilt that thing but that's the original bumper the one that we have on the car is an aftermarket one but okay so what i'm gonna do with next episode i'm gonna give you a positive one i know that i, I have not been able to post any s5 content so on the next video i will post some s5 content i'll make sure i make a whole lot because i know a lot of people has been, has been asking me sending me emails and wondering what's going on with the s5 so yes i'm i'm taking care of that man y'all need really need to see what it looks like right now it, it it's getting there it's it's almost done uh, it's it's and then from what y'all saw in the pictures you could see hey the progress of of where where it is and the stuff that i've already explained what he's take getting taken get, getting taken care of for me but i mean we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll get more s5 um content later on down so don't worry because i'm definitely making sure that i go to the east coast you know i was under the weather so i end up canceling my flight not going to the east coast so but that's about it hey um like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on check us out on all social media links hey don't forget grab yourself some merch from wevebuilds.com hey make sure you grab merch to support the s5 rebuild because you know um, I'm, I'm loving it you know it's really coming together we've been waiting on this car for a hope for a long time 
over two years. We've been waiting on this car. I think this car is the longest built that I've ever been, um, ever done so far. But anyways, stay positive, stay motivated.